Welcome to the Ovani Ambience plugin for Godot tutorial. First, we gotta extract the zip file that you've downloaded. Now, you'll need to open up your Godot project. The plugin is made for uh, Godot 4.1.1, but it should work um, with any version above this and even a few below it. In your project, make a new folder in the uh, root called Add-ons, then right-click and open in File Manager. Now you'll want to drag over the extracted zip file into this Add-ons folder. Make sure the uh, folder that you're dragging over is Ovani Ambience Plugin, not Ovani Ambience Plugin version number. And after a second, it will finish importing. It comes with an example scene and then all of the uh, assets that go into making the plugin work. Next, you'll want to go to Project, Project Settings, Plugins, and then enable the Ovani Ambience Plugin. If the plugin didn't show up in that list, just restart Godot and you should be good. The plugin comes with an example scene inside of its folder, and if you open it up, it should come with an already set up example of how to use the system. However, uh, I don't have that set up yet, so I'm going to set that up here so you can see just how to use it. The plugin comes with three different nodes. The Ambience Area 3D node that lets you specify how everything sounds in certain areas. Then we've got the Ambience Listener node. Put this under your character's character body and this will make it so that they can hear things properly and that the uh, transitions all are just normal, fine. And then we've got the Moving Audio Source node. This is a tag, you put it under an Audio Stream Player 3D and then the Audio Stream Player 3D will change to uh, have the output of the area it's currently in. So the first thing you'll do is just place the Ambience Listener node under your character. And if you have any items that play sound that the character is holding, you'd probably put the Moving Audio Source tag under their Stream Players. I don't have any custom item system or anything like that in the example scene, but I do have some quick and easy footsteps. So we'll put the moving audio source under there. Lastly, we got the Ambience Area 3D node, and this is the meat of the plugin. When you uh, spawn it in, name it to what this area is going to be. Every time you spawn one in, make sure it's got a good name. So this one will just be the outside area, and you'll see it as a warning. If you click on it, it will tell you more. The Ambience Area is a subclass of Godot's area system, so you'll need to add in a shape. So we'll press Add Child node and then find Collision Shape 3D. It doesn't default to anything like a cube. You gotta click on it, go over to its shape setting, and uh, uh, here, I'm just gonna do a box shape. If we had a really complex um, uh, area, like the inside of a mansion, and it has like uh, different areas, we just uh, add more boxes or more collision shapes. Also, Godot is really interesting. If you have this issue where you've copied and pasted a shape, and then when you change it, it also changes all the other ones, you can fix that by clicking on the shape and then right-clicking and pressing Make Unique. Now, instead of uh, editing both, you've got two separate ones. This is just for the outside ambience area, so I'm gonna make it cover everything. And FYI, if you use the Scale tool, don't use the Scale tool. Uh, scale tool breaks uh, areas and their collision. Just use the uh, built-in handlebars at the ends of the box. Now that we have the outside set up, we probably want it to sound a little bit different when we're inside of the house. Probably have the outside area muffled. So what we'll do is we'll add another node to the outside, and it will also be an ambience area 3D. We'll name this one house, and we just have to make it encompass the inside of the house. It'll, it's very similar. Just add in a collision shape 3D, specify the type, and then make sure it's the area. Now that I've got the house zone set up, we've just got these two colliders for the L shape of the house. Next up, I know that this house has a basement, so we're gonna take it yet another step further and create another ambient zone. We now have three ambient zones, each one an extension of the last one, the outside zone that contains everything, a zone for the inside of the house, along with a zone inside of the house for the basement. Now, you probably haven't noticed, but if you go down to the audio tab, we have three buses that have automatically been created for the outside area, the house, and the basement. This will let you customize how audio sounds in these certain areas, but more importantly, you'll be able to save a snapshot of their current settings and load snapshots, 
and have it transition between these snapshots when you enter and exit a zone. So let's say you're outside of the house, currently in the outside zone. You'd probably want to have a couple of filters on the things inside of the house in the basement, but less filters on the stuff outside. So you'd save a snapshot that depicts that. When you're inside the house, you'll uh, do the same, but for the outside in the basement, and then uh, ETC. Currently, the audio players in the map, they are set to play to the master bus because we haven't configured them. It would probably be annoying if we had to uh, select all of them and then manually change them to uh, fit with their current place. So we've got an automatic configuration feature. Just select the utmost ambient zone, for me it's outside, and press auto configure contained SFX. It'll scan through all of the 3D audio listeners, just the 3D ones though, you'll have to manually configure 2D ones, and configure them to uh, hook up to the area that they're currently in. So this windmill, currently configured to outside. This fireplace, currently configured to house. I don't have anything in the basement. Now for the most important part of the plugin, setting up how the zones actually affect their audios. So we're given three buses for our current scene, and before messing with it, you'll want to predetermine what effects you'll want to use on each zone. If our house remembers that there are two effects total in this bus, and the outside remembers three effects total, we won't be able to make a smooth transition between the house and the outside's ambience. I've now got my buses set up with the effects I'd like. I've got a low pass filter for outside. Its cutoff is really high so that nothing happens, but once we're inside the house I'll configure it so that the cutoff actually activates. Same with the compressor. I've got reverb for the house, which is also set to zero since we're not inside of the house. And same for the basement. Now to save this state of it being configured for outside, I'll go to outside, save bus snapshot, and there we go. When we enter this zone, it will transition into this configuration. Now for the house, I'll select the house, go into it, and I'll configure the effects to how I'd like for inside of the house. I'd like the house to be uh, full volume when we're inside of it, less volume for outside, and I'm going to activate the low pass filter by setting it to a reasonable hertz, and activate the compressor by turning the mix up. For the house, we're going to change the reverb so it's actually active. And turn up slash off the um, uh, low pass filter. And also turn on the reverb with the basement if we hear anything from in there. Now we'll go back to the house, save bus snapshot. And then lastly, for the basement. For the basement, I'm going to make the uh, filter even more intense for outside. I'm going to uh, leave the compressor where it is. I don't think I need to change that much now. I'm going to turn up the reverb for the house in the basement and uh, the, make the low pass filter a little bit more interesting. And then for the reverb of the basement, I'll turn it up a bit. Now I go to basement and save bus snapshot. And since all of these were on, it will let us have transitions for each value that's changed in each of these effects. And of course the volumes. Let's test this out. That should be all of it. I wish you well with the rest of your game making endeavors and uh, have fun.